HVAC people. Hope everybody having a great day out there. All right. So I've been leak searching this unit for about two hours. When I got up here, it was completely flat. So I decided to put me a little trace gas up in there. Like I say, trace, a little trace of gas. Hit it with some R22. I got about uh, 110 pa uh, PSI of R2, uh, I mean, uh, nitrogen. So like I said, I've been leak searching about two hours, could not find the leak. Uh, my leak detector been setting off. Uh, I mean, I've been, I was leak searching everywhere on this thing. So what I decided to do was give me some soap and water because I had a little residue. And you see that it's going off in this area right here. So I got some, some soap and water, clean the compressor off real good. And I also had some residue along my uh, sight glass and my filter dryer. So I got the soap bubbles, I washed this up real good. And uh, got the leak detector. And it wasn't going off in this area right here, but I cleaned that up real good. So I came back around to the compressor and concentrated in this area here. See, I'm still getting a little signal so i cleaned this up real good dried it off so my my overload relay took this off so there's a little residue up here and you see the leak detector is going off real bad around here so then i get my snoop let me put this on put this on my head So I get my snoop. You see that? Leaking real bad around his overload. So I found my leak, but I never repaired a leak uh, at this uh, solenoid. So leave a comment. Let me know what you would do. But I'm thinking I'm gonna have to take this off. I don't know if I'm gonna have to get another or there's a way you can tighten this up. But I think I can get a screwdriver and uh, tighten it up and go clockwise. So I'm gonna try that and see if it'll stop that leak. You see it leaking real bad. This is soap and water right here. Leave a comment, let me know, have you ever had a leak on your overload? And uh, how did you repair it? So I can go to the compressor shop and get a new one. But it looked, yeah, it looked like it's threaded right here. So it looked like I could just tighten it up. I see some threads. So I'm sure I can just tighten it up. So that's what I'm gonna try. Take it off because I think we find my, find my corporate. So I'm gonna try to tighten this up a little bit and uh, like I say, that's the only leak that I found. But I'm gonna put some more uh, nitrogen in there once I tighten this up and see if there's any more leaks anywhere. And uh, I'll pull the vacuum and charge it up. One circuit running, so I'm gonna let the 
keep giving them some air because it's a kitchen area, so 77 degrees up in there now. Found my leak so they can have one circuit running while. But I need it to hear. I can't hardly hear it with that other compressor running. Occupier mode. There's not a time clock. Sometimes they got a schedule on them, but this kitchen it runs 24/7 basically. So, that's my floor. nitrogen out of here before I try this. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to some of my nitrogen and uh, close it up here. Isolate the compressor. So I'm gonna close the valve. Yeah, let me know how, how would you do? Would you just take it all the way out there? That door slammed over there. Would you take it off? Like I say, I'm gonna try to get a screwdriver to tighten it up. It, it's real loose. I never had a leak right there before, my first one. But it might be a tube or something, I don't know. Might be a tube they make to tighten them up. I got a guy I can call at a compressor shop. We know all about them. But I want to try it out for myself. Yo, 
Y'all got a leak on the overload. Please like and subscribe my videos. Leave a comment. Share with a friend that's trying to get into uh, HVAC or going, you know, going to get in HVAC. So we don't use trying in our vocabulary. We're gonna do it, and uh, we're gonna try to be the best that we can be. Try to learn as much as we can. You know, we're gonna get in this field. Want to be one of the best. So that leaking right there, too. No, just try to go the extra mile though. Every time you step out of step out the work truck. You know, try to get the best service as, as you can. So have good days and bad days. When you wake up in the morning and say you're gonna do the best that you can, you're gonna have way more good days and bad days. Like I say, it's grind time. I'm, I'm gonna try to tighten this up. Uh, with my screwdriver, and I'm gonna get my guy a call uh, at the compressor shop that I uh, purchased this from like two years ago, and uh, actually what he recommends. So I might, might tell him to just take it off and, and uh, bring it up to the shop and get another one. Uh, if, I, if I do all that, though, I gotta put a new gasket and everything on it. So hopefully I can tighten it up. Sound like we know. A little bit more in there. All right, peace out, HVAC people. This video about to end. Like I say, y'all have a great day.